way too far. We've done something very stupid and we just need to cut our losses and end this. We need to get her back to St. Anne's. Not yet. Jess, she has been jerking us around. All right, this woman has no information about Mitch. This is just some sort of sadistic game. Just let me handle it, okay? Allison? If you don't tell me what you know right now, the deal is off. Oh, what deal is that? You mean the one where you give me five grand in the car if I tell you what I know so I can go free? Oops. That's right, we don't have that deal. Because the minute I tell you what I know, you're going to cart me back to Nun Central. So why don't you just explain to me why it behooves me to tell you anything? You forgot to hang the sock on the door. Uh, Mike. How can I plead not guilty? This is not just what I want, Marcy. I talked to Judy Shulman Brown and she has agreed to represent us. She understands all the circumstances of the case and she cares about us. She's even agreed not to charge us her usual rate because Michael. she wants to do this. Michael, everyone in this country knows what I did. I was on national television holding a gun in my hand. You're not being charged with that. Everybody saw it. Why would they believe anything I said in a court of law? If you plead guilty, it's over. Mike, when you convinced me to turn myself in, that's the first time in months that I realized I put Tommy in danger. I did. So I took responsibility for my actions, Michael, and that is what I have to do now. I have to do it because I committed a crime, so I deserve to be punished. You have been punished. Marcy, we both have. We lost our son. Isn't that enough? We have to lose each other, too? I stopped him from killing a woman and her child. And the gun went off when we were fighting over it. The bullet went through my window. And was anyone hurt? Luckily, no. Who was holding the gun when you came? He let it go when he heard you guys. All right, now, Manny, do you just happen to be here? No, 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 he threatened my family. Well, your family lives in that seedy hotel. Bro, so, I came here to stop him from hurting someone, and I did. You know what he's capable of? I mean, look at that gun over there. How am I going to get something like that? I know that we're all going to go downtown to the department. We're going to sort this out. Down there. Cuff them. <sighs> this thing is my fault. What's that supposed to mean? I, I just meant that... If it hadn't been for you, I never would have left Shane down here alone. It's okay, Mom. John, help me. The bullet didn't get anywhere near me. It's stuck in the slot machine. Okay, were you to testify against this FBI guy and Todd? If it comes out of that, yeah. Can I ask you a question, Mom? Oh, sure. About him. Who is he, anyway? Go ahead and tell him. 